Okay, are we live? Hey guys, this is Bobby Clue with the Somerset Pulaski County Chamber of Commerce. I've lost my mic. We are back at it again for another one of our virtual ribbon cuttings. So uh, at the office today on a, on a windy day, but uh, here with uh, uh, Matthew, Matthew and it's Holmes, Matthew Holmes, Sorry. Jonathan Whitson, Homeworks Handyman Service. So uh, I've known Jonathan for a while, went through our leadership program. Yep. His uh, wife has actually been our ambassador of the year, Kristen Whitson. So know them very well. Don't know a lot of the, about homeworks though. So um, maybe we start here. How did you guys come to be? Like, what's the story about how did you guys come together and form this company? Okay, well, me and uh, Matthew, we first met at a very young age, uh, around fourth grade, started playing football together, and then grew up together in high school, and then worked different jobs together, and uh, then we decided, well, let's, uh, let's start something, and we, we decided we'd start it out part-time, do it in the evenings, on the weekend, just to help people out, make some mm -hmm. extra money. And it just started taking off. The demand just kept on growing higher and higher. And then we decided to take the leap and do it full time. And it's just, it just keeps on growing. So I'm going to answer my, my question here, I think in advance, there's a need for this in our mm -hmm. community. So, Very much so. I, I've noticed, and we've talked about this a little bit, that it seems like a lot of contractors here in town, they don't want to do small jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, a bathroom remodel, a backsplash, any number of things. Uh, that's kind of your wheelhouse. That's your yeah. specialty, right? Mm -hmm. Doing those jobs that those other guys don't want to do. Yeah. So tell me about that a little bit. Yeah. So uh, we get all kinds of calls, uh, like you just said, the, the smaller jobs, um, as well as the big jobs, too. <laughs> um, so there's not really any too small of a job that, that we'll come out and do. Well, and that's, you know, that's great to know because, honestly, you know, I think I see on Facebook a lot, people, you know, will say, I can't get anybody to come out here and repair this door, or I can't mm -hmm. get anybody to come out here and repair this lock yeah. and just little, little jobs. Yeah. So, you know, I've always said dimes turn into dollars. So, mm -hmm. you know, those small jobs, they all kind of add up. And then obviously the big, tell me about some of the services that you do provide in case somebody is, you know, interested yeah. in, in, in maybe contacting you guys to get a quote. Okay, so uh, we'll do, we can do like interior and exterior remodeling and repairs. Uh, I know weather's starting to get a little, a little rough today, so there, mm -hmm. some people might have some, some damages to their house from the wind, trees, stuff like that. So we can repair that for you. Or if you're wanting to just change up some stuff inside your house or outside, um, we can do stuff with decks, we can do tile, uh, flooring, drywall, painting, uh, something as simple as hanging a TV. Yeah. A uh, little bit of everything. So you, you can call do, us and you can do the small things, but you mm -hmm. can also do a lot of those sub that type things yeah. as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, if you need a full remodel, I'm sure you could do that as yeah. well. Uh, demolition or demo work, anything like that. I mean, oh, yeah. what are some of the, what are some of the, the projects here that, uh, you're, you've been working on lately? What are some of the things that you could talk about that people might be interested in knowing about? Um, there's been some uh, jobs like, well, they want us to do like a full remodel. Yeah. Um, like there's been some uh, rental properties mm -hmm. that uh, some people have bought and they're like, okay, I want to go through and redo everything and get it ready to be to where I can start renting it. Yeah. So we'll go through, demo everything, build it back up how they want it and and get it going for them. Well, you know, another thing I hear a lot, um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you a little softball here. So I hear a lot, you know, that somebody will call a contractor mm -hmm. and they don't show up. Yeah. You know, they don't even really return a call, but they don't, they don't show up. Sometimes they'll say they're gonna be there and they don't show up. I'm not gonna mention anybody specifically, mm -hmm. but, but one of the things that you guys kind of pride yourselves on is, is returning those calls and showing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that and and being honest with people. Um, uh, we get a lot of, of stories as well of, of people um, not having the best experience. And uh, we wanna make sure that we're upfront and honest with as much as possible with people. Everybody, reach out everybody's got us. We can't do it. I mean, we'll, sure. if something's over our head, we'll, 
we'll, well and that's well and that's you know yeah. that's that's okay you know to, to say that I've, I've said many times somebody will call me and want something and if I don't know the answer, I'm not going to make it up. I'm going right. to say, I don't know that. Let me see if I can figure it out for you, and I'll call mm-hmm. you back. Yeah. So same thing. You know, if somebody, you know, if it's not in your wheelhouse of expertise, mm-hmm. maybe you refer them to someone else. But if yeah. it is, you know, you work with them on that project. It's mm-hmm. just, uh, it's amazing to me in this day and age that people uh, wouldn't even return a phone call sometimes. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think that, you know, you're going to win the war just by doing that right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so often somebody's got an experience they've had or they've got a friend or a friend's friend's cousin's nephew's, you know, friend mm-hmm. who had a bad experience. The yeah. contractor took advantage of me, yeah. you know, took my money, didn't get the work done. The value wasn't there. Had to have another guy come in and redo the work that that oh. contractor did. Yeah. Everybody's heard those stories. Yeah. So I'm sure you'll probably be... Maybe that contractor that has to come back in and redo some work. Yeah, or they've already been there. <laughs> <laughs> so those things happen, you know. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this. Um, I'm assuming that if somebody wants to get a hold of you guys to come look at a project, everything's a one-off. So, you know, can't give a, a quote without coming out and looking at yeah, it. So what, I would assume you'll need to. Yeah, what, what they can do is they can call us. Um, and then we can schedule a time to come out and do take a look at it and put together an estimate for them. What's the best way to get a hold of you? A phone call? Yeah. What's it, that number? It's uh, 606-219-5759. 219-5759? Yes, sir. Okay. So there you go, guys. 219-5759 for these guys right here. Do you have a Facebook page we or do, anything? We do have a Facebook page, and then we also have a website. Okay. So you can, re- you can reach us on any of those. Uh, our website is uh, homeworkshandyman.com uh, and then uh, just the same for on Facebook. Yeah, you probably put in homeworks and get ready to start to spell the rest of that and I bet it pops up yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, homeworks so, handyman services. Yeah, and that, you know, and that, and that might be a good way too for people to go on and maybe see some of the jobs mm-hmm. that you've worked on, yeah, some of the nice. remodels and some of the things. Yeah. I mean, that's always helpful uh, to put that work on there. I know mm-hmm. some people... Uh, they may not want to put their, they may not be very proud of their work and they may not put it out there. Yeah. So it says a lot that you're, you're putting your work out yeah. there and saying, here, here's what we've done. Take a look at it. Yeah. And if you like what you see, yeah, give us a call. Yeah. And we always too want to make sure that whenever we leave a job that the customer is absolutely happy with what we've done. So if there's issues, we're like, well, we'll, we'll take care of that. We'll fix it for you. What's your lead time right now? Right now, we're actually looking at trying to hire some people because mm-hmm. our our demand is it just keeps growing and growing, <laughs> so that it keeps on pushing our lead time, sure. out, you know, a little bit further out on the bigger jobs. Um, right now, we're probably about uh, two months out on the okay. bigger jobs, and then we we filter in the little jobs here and there. Sure, a between. nice rainy day, you might be able to get to that, you know, yeah. that that that. Re, that Fixing that problem or mm-hmm. work. Yeah, sure. I understand how that is. Yeah. Uh, but we're hoping, like I said, to bring some people on and yeah. and speed up the process a little bit. Well, that's and, good. And so it's a, two, it's a two-man show right now, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, that's the, that's the that's a true entrepreneurial success story. I mean, you know, when you look back on this journey in 10 years and you've got several other employees, I mean, you can look think back to when you started, there was just the two of you, you know, yeah. that's how... I, a lot of great businesses have started, you mm-hmm. know, as a one man or a two man team. So, um, what I always talk about and what we talk about with, with our community as mm-hmm. a chamber, we talk a lot about the importance of supporting our local businesses. Yeah. So, uh, it, it, you know, I see occasionally people who will bring in contractors from out of town mm-hmm. to do a job that I believe that they could do as well, if not better with somebody right here in town yeah, uh, and support somebody in our community. So what we always ask is, you know, give these guys a shot. You know, I would assume that uh, from what I've heard, everything I've seen, you're going to be happy with the results. And it sounds like if you're not, they're going to make it right for you, you know, which is mm-hmm. something you don't always hear. So if you have a chance to support a local business, you know, we really encourage you to do that. So uh, Matthew and, and, and Jonathan, thank you all for, for, for taking the time to, to do this. I know it's a little awkward and, you know, odd to do this, but you know, everybody can't be here to do that in-person yeah. ribbon cutting. So this gives us a chance to connect with our community and just give them a little information about how to get a hold of you, 
what you do, services you provide, and just answer some easy questions. And then they can go back and, you know, they may not need your services today yeah. or tomorrow, but a month from now, you know, that, this is the game right here, you know, out of sight, out of mind. So maybe they've seen this and, in th you know, next month when they do need you, they give you a call, yeah. you know, because they remember you from something like this. So I appreciate you all being members of the chamber. It uh, means a lot. I know that you don't have to do that. You've made that choice. I appreciate that. You might have had to have made it a little bit because of Kristen, <laughs> uh, but I really do appreciate it. And uh, guys, give these guys a shot. So uh, uh, Homeworks, Handyman Service right here. And again, what's the way to get a hold of you? What's the phone number? The phone number is 606-219-5759. And it's Homeworks. HomeworksHandyManService.com uh, HomeworksHandyMan.com HomeworksHandyMan No service, just HomeworksHandyMan.com mm -hmm. And then Facebook as well under yeah. just HomeworksHandyMan Service, correct? Yeah. So go check these guys out. See some of the work they've done and when you, when you need them they're here for you guys. So uh, guys, until next time we'll have another virtual ribbon cutting next week. So until then, everybody stay safe and we'll see you soon. Guys, thank you all again. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.